Let's make some super saws using sound one. Hey everyone, welcome back. Just like last video, I'm going to show you the basics of how you make the sound and then I'll go over different ways you can tweak the sound and then we'll go over some presets I made earlier. All the presets will be able for a free download link in the description below. So let's get started. Preset, clear knit. First thing we're going to do, raise the polyphony up. I'm going to turn it up to 12. Make sure it's high enough number. I'm going to bring the amp envelope decay up. Make sure you turn retrig off, but right now we're just going to focus on oscillator A1. And then we have to turn the voices up to 8. Move that detune up to about 3.5. I wouldn't go above 5 because it just sounds bad. Yeah, I wouldn't do that. We can introduce some phase if you would like. For this example, I'll bring a little bit up over here. Uh, and then I'm going to bring stereo back closer to 5. More mono. And I'm going to bring pan a little bit to the left. And then I'm going to take this and copy it over to A2. I'm going to move the pan to the opposite side. I'm going to change the phase settings and the detune down just a little bit. You can keep them the same if you want. I'm going to turn on some EQ, delay, and reverb. Now, I'm going to use just the effects in Silent One. You can use whatever third-party effects you want. So it adds some EQ. Now the sound would EQ boost frequencies. So I'm gonna turn on the trebles a little bit just to get rid of some of those higher pitched awkward sounds. Let's turn on delay. Let's turn out a reverb. Turn down size. Turn on dry width. We're just trying to make the sound bigger. Let's get some volume here. All right, now we're gonna go over to filter A. I'm going to give it a low pass filter, 24 dB. Oh, now we can't hear crap. Right now we're doing a low pass filter, so we're cutting out all the high frequencies. We move the cutoff point with cutoff. All right, and then we can bring the resonance up a little bit. Resonance just boosts the frequencies at the cutoff point. I'll just give it a little bit. Now another option is we could use this main filter control as well, but we'll get back to that one. So now we're just going to copy everything over. We're going to copy oscillator A1 to oscillator B1. Uh, we're going to skip oscillator A2 because we'll just copy oscillator B. Copy amp envelope A over to amp envelope B. And we're going to copy filter A over to filter B. I like to solo this. All right, so here we're going to make the pan more defined left. We can turn off phase or we can just turn it the opposite direction. It's really up to you wherever it sounds like. And we're going to copy that over to B2. Make sure you move the pan over. Change the detune. I'm going to detune down. I'm going to bring the amp envelope attack up a little bit just to get rid of that click. Now the weird fun part. I'm going to go out and play around with some mod envelopes again. We're going to kind of copy what the amp envelope looks like except bring the sustain down. And then in here we're going to put in cutoff AB and then give it a positive amount. Now let's play them all together. Put some compression on here. And yeah, that's the basic super saw. So now let's go back and play around with it. All right, so one thing we can do here, I'm gonna solo part A again. We can change the voices, trust me on this. Bringing the voices down to like four. It sounds different. So that's one thing we can do. Instead of using filter A, we could use the main filter for like the cutoff. Here, I'll show you. It adds a different sound, you know. Let me copy it over to part B. Ooh, yeah. Uh, let's play with this cutoff down here. That's kind of cool. Uh, we can also go back and mess with the filters. We can just use one. Here's the thing though. Listen, when I solo B, 
Oh yeah, you're supposed to. <laughs> All right, make sure if your B is on no input. See, you won't hear anything. But if I solo A, now I hear all the sounds. Just give it a different sound. Uh, I'll turn the cutoff here. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of like a plex uh, hybrid thing. Now, here's part B. Let's make one of these noise. That's possible. That's pretty popular. The only problem using noise is that it can be a little loud. If you're gonna do that, make sure make sure you bring pan there. Let me bring let me bring filter B back in here because you really don't want too much of those high ends. Ooh, that one's cool. What else is there? Let's bring this. Oh, we could use a pulse wave. We haven't messed with the octaves yet. Okay, so another way you can do this is make part A be like low end and then part B be like a higher end. So let's just mess around with that. All right, we're definitely gonna need to turn the cutoff down for this. All right, let's go back to part B. Let's keep it. Oh, I didn't have volume. All right, let's move that back to uh, saw wave. So now let's play them all together. Cool, cool. All right, I think that's everything. Uh, I'd really mess with the, the cutoffs uh, and the filters. Play around with your EQ delay, reverb, compression. Play around with your voices, your actives, all that fun stuff. All right, let's go over some presets I made. Let's do first saw. It's the first one I made. So I'm doing the AB filter thing. I'm using most of the cutoff from the filter control. And then I have the cutoff AB going into this ADSR filter over here. First super saw two. What do we got here? All right, so it's kind of the same, except I have this velocity source over here. And honestly, I have no idea what it's doing. I just saw it somewhere and thought it was cool. So uh, moving on. All right, let's go to bright saw. Something I didn't mention earlier is you can use these fine knobs here and then pan them. Bright saw two. All right, now we have sad saw loaded. Uh, as you see, I used a pulse wave over here using four voices instead of eight. Uh, stereo panning, try and saw. We have saw waves and then we have try saw waves and I ran them through a filter. All right, I like that one. Let's load Super Saw 3 and then I'll load all the weird changes I made. Yeah, nice. All right. Reverb and delay are fixed. Okay. Yeah, that's just part A soloed. It just shows you you can get a really big sound even with just two oscillators. Yeah, let's do revision B. Super Saw 4. So you have the Super Try Saw in here. Uh, I have cut off B and A using different amounts. So uh, see so I have our miscellaneous one, mod envelope one as a source, and then I add a cut off B. Just pretend that this cut off B is just down here. That's all it is. All right, cool, Super Saw 5. All right, everyone, that's all I have for today. Hopefully that was helpful. If you enjoyed this tutorial, uh, please consider subscribing. I'm doing more of them in the future. Uh, as a reminder, all the presets will be available in the link in the description below. Anyway, that's all I got. Thanks. Bye. I'm not going to break my new headphones this time.